Hey, what's up? This is DJ Yosh with UID. Uh, I'm just going to give you an example of XBMC, also known as Xbox Media Center, running on a my gaming slash home theater PC. Um, it's a Windows 7 64-bit Ultimate system, custom build, Core 2 Duo, NVIDIA card, triple SLI, blah, 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 all the bells and whistles. 42-inch um, flat screen right here. As you can see, I have a wireless Xbox 360 controller with the uh, charge kit USB controller thing thing you got going on right there. Um, I actually don't have batteries or a rechargeable kit for it at the moment. So this does suffice even though I have to use a couple of extensions to get across the room. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, boot this thing up and show you what it looks like from start to finish. Give you an example of what this type of system can do. Now this is the newest version that just came out. Um, date of this video is uh, beginning of January. I don't remember what fucking day it is. I've been putting these type of systems together for a couple years now. Um, not really professionally, just kind of doing it for for my own entertainment. Um, kind of a media whore. Got lots of DVDs, music, things like that, and I just kind of like to have them all at my fingertips, and this actually allows me to do it. On top of that, considering they have a Windows port of it, it lets me do a lot more than just that. Now, in order to make all of my uh, shares secure and everything on here, I do have a password set up, but, um, you know, that's just uh, authentication into the network. It doesn't have anything to do with logging into the system itself, so I have it bypassing the actual login. As you can see, I'm running XPatter in the background. That thing is a godsend, uh, forgive the phrase. And here it is. This is Xbox Media Center as it is on my system. Honestly, taking a little bit longer to load up than I anticipated. <laughs> but as you can see here, uh, normally it loads up a little bit faster. I think it's, uh, as you can see up here, it's automatically downloading information for uh, for all the new music that I had just added last night. That's probably what slowed it down. This thing's only running on two gigabytes of RAM right now. Um, I highly recommend about three or four if you're going to be running just media on here. Four or more definitely if you're going to run video games. As you can see, they all have uh, custom backgrounds on here. Videos, movies, TV shows. We'll get to that one in a minute. I really think that will impress you. Uh, video games. And uh, a couple of these I actually had to add custom backgrounds to. But as you can see, they tend to work fairly well. YouTube plug-in. Lots of streams. This is one of my favorite ones. The weather. You never tell what it's going to be like. show you that one at the end. First thing I'll go ahead and just hop right into uh, music. Just really, obviously, is nothing special. It's just a bunch of a couple of gigs of music. But you go over to the movie section. As you can see, I have quite a bit of movies now. All of these thumbnails and everything auto-generated, being downloaded from the TV database online. Um, these right here are just a bunch of random quantum physics videos, <laughs> just nerd stuff. As you can see, um, it downloads the uh, uh, essential plot, general summary of the movie, things like that. And the bottom right here will actually show you exactly how it's encoded, all that good stuff, in case you're extremely nerdy like me and just like to know what you have. Go ahead and go to TV shows. I've uh, been collecting these for quite a while now. And again, all of these auto-generated all of their own thumbnails. It downloads them online. As long as you have an internet connection, it should go ahead and just take care of everything. And all of these are pretty much full seasons, too. There is no um, gap, per se. Uh, Got to have South Park, of course. Go ahead and show you, like, The Simpsons, for instance.
these are all the different seasons of The Simpsons, um, all the way until pretty much the most recent ones. Again, it'll show you all of the uh, thumbnails, everything auto-generated. They made it really easy in this version. Go ahead and just play one of these so you can get an idea. It's got a nice little interface at the bottom. Not not too in your face, fades in, fades out. Um, definitely an improvement over some of the other skins I use. Oh, by the way, this is a uh, knight. Um, I can't remember who the author is at, at the moment, but that is the uh, particular skin that I have on here. Um, so there's that one. There's another cool little feature. No matter where you go, it's going to constantly keep you informed of whatever's going on on the screen. So right there, as you can see, no matter what, I can go backwards, forwards, no matter what, I'm always going to have my second little, uh, my second little homeboy chilling down there at the bottom. So I'll go back in here and I will go ahead and give this, uh, just give this a pause because I don't feel like having that run right now. Well, I'll show you this next part. This is uh, probably my favorite one right here because I'm a super huge video game nerd. These are my video games. And again, all of these are PC games um, with the exception of the emulators that are on here. Um, the emulators, just give you a quick example of all the ROMs. I mean, pretty much name something on Nintendo, Super Nintendo, NES, Sega, all that stuff. You can get it to run on here. I even have Nintendo 64 games running on here. Uh, pretty solid. Um, give you a good example of a game right here. Go ahead and start Mirror's Edge. As you can see, I can start the game, and my x pattern profile will change when the new program pops up. Um, it's set. Uh, I mean, the Mirror, Mirror's Edge itself is uh, native to the uh, Windows or the Xbox 360 controller. So I just throw a blank profile on here, have it auto profile, and do no translations. Then it will go ahead and start. And again, you know, the, this is a home theater computer and a gaming system. And so, uh, you know, I, I do have, you know, uh, a couple of extras in here. Um, I did kind of go the extra mile when it comes to playing video games just so I was able to get the uh, gaming experience that I wanted to get out of it. Um, the main thing that I wanted to get was a more or less console experience um, without having to get, get up and uh, essentially dick around with the mouse and keyboard every time I wanted to do something. Now, all of these games work. There's a couple of them that I'm still working on. The emulators I can start, um, but I haven't figured out how to exit them yet. I'm sure there's a script or something that can be written, but obviously that will be for a different video. YouTube, self-explanatory. You can search YouTube videos, etc., etc., etc. This right here is a list of plugins. Now, XBMC has the ability to take plugins written by the XBMC team or by third parties and have them actually run inside of uh, XBMC. Now I'm, I got some uh, some Linux torrents running in the background, so I'm not going to be able to stream anything at the moment. Um, but essentially, everything that you're seeing here is, you know, video plugins that will go scrape video off of uh, online websites, um, you know, things like that. This is one of my favorite ones right here. If you don't know what that is, go check it out. Don't need to explain it once you see it. I mean, essentially, that is pretty much it for what we have here. There's a lot of cool customization features, for instance, like the games and the YouTube and the streams options that you see on the home screen are now customizable in the settings section where you can actually name uh, your shortcut and put it on the home, which I, I find really convenient uh, without having to go all the way to add-ons add and video add-ons and whatnot and what have you. Uh, there's another thing that kind of saved the day, and I will use this to end it, is the shutdown feature. Never even have to get up. And there you have it. That is XBMC, aka Xbox Media Center, running on uh, my crusty little uh, gaming computer here.
Um, hope you guys enjoyed it.